spoiled liberal Muslim wants worker fired for discrimination, manager has six brilliant words. When a woman wearing a hijab entered a clothing store, an attentive worker immediately came to assist her and asked her one kind and simple question. After the customer tried to get the innocent worker fired for discrimination and filed a civil rights lawsuit, the manager instead offered six brilliant words. When a Sharia-enforcing Muslim walked into a White House black market clothing store in Linfield, Massachusetts, she was horrified to find that a female worker was concerned for her well-being. Daring to care that the staunch Muslim woman was clad with constrictive garments from head to toe, the worker, identified as Karai Sabobskil, asked a simple question that has endangered her career, reputation, and possibly her life. Yahoo! News reports that Nadia Lawa was so enraged that a retail worker asked her if she was too hot and offered to turn off the air conditioner just for her in the nearly 90 degree heat that she is demanding a civil rights lawsuit against the clothing chain. In one of the most bitterly smug individual battles for Sharia enforcement, Nadia wants the entire business to pay dearly because the employees sincerely desire to make her as comfortable as possible. Fortunately, Nadia states that the manager, known only as Minte, vehemently rejected her ridiculous assumption that Kiraisa was Islamophobic, saying that the worker didn't have a mean bone in her body and that it was Nadia's own issue if she gets offended by people expressing concern for her safety. Taking to Facebook immediately following the non-incident, Nadia claimed that the female employee insisted on serving her to the best of her ability, which the Muslim supremacist considers discrimination and a violation of her civil rights. Nadia has placed a price on her head for accidentally offending a Muslim, which Nadia and the majority of Muslims believe should be against the law. Nadia responded in the comments that she has filed a civil rights complaint with the Massachusetts Attorney General's Office for Discrimination, despite the fact that a woman actually gave her special favor that wasn't afforded to the other customers. The next day, Nadia once again took to Facebook to rally up the Sharia supporters to help her punish freedom of expression, ironically alleging that asking someone about their religious attire is bigoted. In fact, she hypocritically references her own right to peaceful expression of opinion which she does not believe anyone else should have when it comes to Islam. Interestingly, Nadia refused to give an interview to Yahoo! Stall about the incident, despite the online outlet chomping at the bit to portray her as the latest face of Islamophobia. Instead, they were forced to publish the retailer's official statement, which seems to verify that Nadia doesn't want to resolve the issue but trade the clothing chain over the coals for daring to challenge the supremacy of Islam. We have reached out to Miss Alawa to hear her perspectives directly. We are committed to providing an environment in all of our stores that is free of harassment and discrimination. We value the diverse backgrounds, experiences, and uniqueness of all of our customers and employees and we hope to have the opportunity to speak directly with Miss Alawa, a White House black marquee spokesperson told Yahoo! Style. Nadia's daughter, Lala Alawa, is backing her mother's claims and cleverly exaggerating the implications of such an event. Disturbingly, Layla is the founder of The Tempest, a pro-Islam propaganda outlet that pushes for Sharia law under the guise of equality and anti-Islamophobia. Additionally, Layla is directly linked to Sharia advocate and anti-Semite Linda Sarsour, who recently made headlines for urging non-violent Muslims and devout terrorists to wage jihad against President Donald Trump. The Prophet Muhammad proved that there is no freedom of speech in Islam and that infidels must be punished for offending Muslims by executing several poets and two young slave girls for mocking him. Although Nadia and Layla do not wage jihad like the more devout terrorists, who the Quran declares Allah will reward for their slaughter, they all strive for the same outcome, to rid the world of all other religions and laws. Islam must reign supreme at all costs, and they've discovered that the most effective and safest way to succeed is by using our own exceptional liberties against us. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.